Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Demining is a very important process that helps to save the lives of soldiers, as well as military equipment and weapons from the explosion of mines. For these purposes, handheld surface scanners can be used, but when it is necessary to clear the way for the passage of a military convoy, need use special equipment or launchers with explosives. Today, we will show you the 10 best military minefield clearing vehicles in the world. Kyler The Kyler mine clearing vehicle was developed by Rheinmetall to meet requirements of the German army. The Kyler is based on the M48A2 Patton medium tank hull. It is designed to clear lanes through minefields, thus allowing friendly vehicles to pass safely. It can clear both anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. This combat engineering vehicle is fitted with a heavy-duty rotor-powered mine flail. It has two clearing shafts with 24 flails. This demining vehicle clears a 4.7 meter wide path. It can clear a 120 meter long lane in a minefield within 10 minutes. It is claimed that the Kyler clears 98% of mines in its path. The Kyler also has an automatic cleared path lane marking system. It is carried on the rear of the hull. Listva The Listva is a Russian mine clearing vehicle. It searches and neutralizes explosives on the route of Topol, Topol M, and Yars missile launchers, manually and automatically detects remotely controlled mines and neutralizes them. Listva is equipped with devices to search for metal containing explosives at a speed of 15 kilometers an hour and a distance of 100 meters. A wide span multi zone search module with 16 induction sensors is carried in front as well as electromagnetic situation control equipment. The designers provided protection against remotely detonated explosives. Cellular phones and pagers are often used to explode them. The vehicle can emit impulses imitating cellular phones and other electronic devices. The high-power microwave transmitter can destroy only mines with remote detonation or electronic systems. It is useless for pressure-type mines, although it can timely detect them and warn. Bionics The Bionics is a family of tracked Singaporean armored fighting vehicles developed by Singapore Technologies Kinetics. The Singapore Armed Forces has inducted a 30-ton class countermine vehicle built on the Bionics chassis called the Trailblazer, which uses a mine flail system. In addition to mine clearing, the Trailblazer is able to mark its trails using a lane marking system with pneumatically fired rods enabling vehicles to quickly travel behind the Trailblazer safely without losing momentum. The Trailblazer features the world's first integrated flail system, which is a rotating chain that sweeps and detonates mines. It is capable of clearing a path of 100 meters in length and 3.2 meters in width in less than seven and a half minutes. UR-77 Meteorite The UR-77 is a mine warfare vehicle of Soviet origin. It was developed in the 1970s to help engineers create paths through a minefield quickly. The UR-77 operated near the front line, but is not intended to participate in combat. Mechanized forces and artillery are to provide cover fire when operating near enemy positions. UR-77 clears a 6-meter wide corridor, which is 90 meters long using one of its two line charges. In Syria, the UR-77 has reportedly been used in urban terrain. The UR-77 is operated from under armor protection. The steel armor protects the crew from small arms fire and shell splinters, although intended to operate near minefields. The UR-77 does not feature protection against mines. AMX-30 B2DT Under contract to the French Army, GIAT Industries has developed a mine-clearing version of the AMX-30 MBT. 
and this is now in service with the French Army engineers. The vehicle is based on a standard AMX-30B or AMX-30B2 MBT chassis. Mounted at the front of the hull is an Israeli Ramta or UK Pearson engineering plow type mine clearing system and a Giat Industries magnetic field generator. Mounted on either side of the hull rear is a Pearson engineering pathfinder marking system which dispenses marker poles into the ground as the system moves forward. As an alternative to mine clearing devices of the plow type, it can also be fitted with roller type mine clearing devices, for example those developed by Erden Industries of Israel. BMR 3M the BMR-3M mine clearing vehicle was developed as a private venture. It is a proposed replacement for the current Russian Army BMR-2 mine clearing vehicle. The BRM-3M is based on the T-90 main battle tank chassis. The turret has been removed and now all welded superstructure has been fitted. The BRM-3M is fitted with KTM-7 mine rollers. Chains are fitted between the rollers to detonate tilt mass fuses. A single roller clears 0.8 meter wide track, allowing the following vehicles to pass. The BMR-3M is also fitted with electromagnetic countermine system that detonates magnetically fused mines. The vehicle clears mines fitted with pressure activated fuses, bottom mines fitted with rod type fuses, and mines with magnetic proximity fuses. It also plows out mines planted in soil. Hydrema 910 The Hydrema 910 MCV mine clearing vehicle was designed for military and peacekeeping operations. Production commenced in 1996. This mine clearing vehicle is in service with Denmark. The Hydrema 910 MCV is fitted with a rotating flail and 72 chains with the hammers at the ends. By rotating the chains dig into the ground, the landmines are either torn apart or detonated. The Hydrema 910 has a 3.5 meter wide clearing path. During mine clearing, the Hydrema 910 drives in the opposite direction to road travel with the cab to the rear. This vehicle withstands 10 kg TNT blasts. It clears both anti-tank and anti-personnel mines. Prohod 1 Prohod 1 Heavy Robotics Complex is based on the BMR 3M demining armored vehicle. Prohod 1 is designed for making passages in minefields with a width of 4.5 meters in combat conditions for military columns. The vehicle can operate both under the control of the crew and with remote control or in automatic mode. In automatic mode, the vehicle moves along a predetermined route. The complex's capabilities make it possible to neutralize mines equipped with radio detonators on the surface, in snow, and in the ground. At the Prohod 1 trawl with skating rinks, cutters, and jammers for radio-controlled landmines was installed. The crew of the vehicle is two people. There is a troop compartment for three sappers. M1150 The M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle was developed to meet the operational requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps. It is also known as the Breacher or Shredder. This combat engineering vehicle was specially designed to clear pathways through minefields, creating safe lanes for other vehicles. The M1150 is based on a modified M1A1 Abrams main battle tank chassis. Engineering accessories for this vehicle include full width and surface mine plows, combat dozer blades, rapid ordnance removal systems, lane marking systems. This equipment can be rapidly fitted or removed depending on mission requirements. The breacher is also fitted with two launchers for mine clearing line charges mounted on the rear of the superstructure. These are rockets, carrying explosives up to 100 to 150 meters forward, detonating mines, bombs, or IEDs at a safe distance. K-1 
K-600 The K-600 is a new South Korean minefield breaching vehicle. At the prototype stage, it was known as XK-600. It was developed by Hyundai Rotom. This machine was first publicly revealed in 2018. Main roles of the K-600 are clearing pathways through minefields and breaching through enemy obstacles. This engineer vehicle is fitted with a wide mine plow. The K-600 can plow through minefields up to a maximum depth of 0.3 meters. Also, it can disable mines with advanced fuses by emitting magnetic field. The K-600 can rapidly create safe lanes in the minefields for the troops and other vehicles to pass. This allows assault units to move forward before enemy forces can establish defenses. There is a safe path marking system which dispenses rods as the machine moves forward. That's all friends, thanks for watching! Write in the comments which of the vehicles you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.